Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be a brief video. Uh, apologies for the quality, the sound quality I know is probably terrible on this video. I have my mic somewhere around here and I don't know where it is. It's going to turn up soon I'm sure, but uh, for now, since this is going to be a very short video, we'll just have to deal with the uh, potato audio quality. Now, uh, this is going to be in regards to the MGTOW Manifesto. That's the silly little, little manifesto that's been being bandied about in the uh, Manosphere. As some kind of, uh, I, I guess, I don't know, proof or what have you, that, you know, um, uh, these, you know, what, what's essentially a TradCon document uh, about instilling masculinity in women and, and or inst I'm sorry, instilling femininity in women and uh, masculinity in men and, you know, all this nonsense about small government and, you know, this and that, which again, I don't really have any problem with uh, small government per se. But, of course, you know, I don't see it as some kind of end-all, be-all solution to the problems that we face as men. Uh, this document has been being passed around by several people as some kind of proof that uh, instead of the greats, people like Spetsnats, uh, people like Stardust or whatever, uh, that are responsible for just creating amazing content, groundbreaking stuff that, you know, attracted huge numbers of MGTOW to the MGTOW community. It was this obscure little manifesto that was responsible for it all. And, uh, you know, some no ma'am fucking website. Well, I'm here to say fuck that bullshit. Uh, I penned a, uh, a, a article about this, and it's going to be in the description box. Uh, but uh, basically the article states, and I want you guys to go uh, go there and read it, uh, retard Fetobogan made a made an appearance in the comments section, so that was very exciting. And uh, you know his usual stuff, uh, philosophizing about what feminism means, some stupid comment. I just told him to go fuck himself. I've already responded to him thoroughly in previous videos. If you guys haven't seen those, I'm sure you can find them on my channel. But um, I'm here to categorically reject this manifesto. Uh, it's, it's interesting that, you know, when people that accuse us of being a cult hold up this manifesto as some kind of, you know, rule book that we have to fucking adhere to, I'm here to reject this manifesto. I don't think that it serves MGTOW in any real, meaningful, and non-trivial way. Uh, I don't think there's any kind of core advice that is, that I find to be beneficial. It's very vague. Um, there's a lot of platitudes in there. There's a lot of nondescript talk about, you know, uh, instilling masculinity in men. I don't subscribe to this bullshit because, frankly, I think it's just feel-good nonsense. Um, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you guys know my feelings on, you know, the cure-all of, you know, just shrink the government and defeat the left and all that. Um, you know, uh, of course, if you guys could achieve that, then theoretically, yes, it would be good for men. But of course, you know, it's all pie in the sky, you know, pipe dream kind of utopian stuff. Uh, decrease the government to 10%. Fucking not going to happen. Uh, you know, silly stuff that we all just know is impractical. And really, uh, these people that um, put forth these kind of theories are more about uh, feeling righteous, feeling morally uh, righteous. They want to be able to feel good. It's like the, you know, the, the conservative Christians... They don't want to invest in something like male birth control, for example. Uh, they don't put any kind of effort in, in investing in that kind of technology, which, of course, would dramatically drop the amount of abortions being uh, uh, performed because, you know, women wouldn't be getting having oops pregnancies in the first place. Uh, instead, they want to just rail on about how abortion is murder and, you know, we need to uh, stop this barbaric practice now and yada, yada, yada. And they never actually get anything done. And frankly, a lot of these, you know, limited governments is the answer types uh, resemble that. Uh, they have a lot of similarities with that mentality. Uh, complain, complain, and complain about government is the problem. Don't really address that women take to government and are naturally inclined towards feminism, etc. Uh, and, you know, just, just bitch and complain uh, when things don't go their way. Now, uh, MGTOW uh, is not something that is uh, fixed or pinged to this uh, manifesto here. It's something that I reject. It's something that doesn't define our community. Uh, and I, and I, I simply just reject it in totality. Um, sure, maybe it makes a good point here or there. I mean, it, that's debatable. I think not, but whatever. You know, maybe you guys disagree with that. But it certainly is not some kind of rule book for the MGTOW community. 
we don't need it. Um, and, and frankly, these people, I don't know if it was his name, Rob Fetters or Ragnar or whoever the fuck wrote it. These people haven't contributed anything of substance that I can discern uh, to, toward the MGTOW community and for the last, I don't know, I mean, when's the last time you saw a groundbreaking, exciting, innovative, and insightful, um, you know, uh, 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 video or blog post from Ragnar or Rob Fetters or even Aaron Clary or any of these clowns, Matt Forney? You haven't seen it, right? They don't fucking contribute uh, to MGTOW. They just complain about, you know, we were here first, that kind of shit. And uh, frankly, that's debatable, too, because when I got into the MGTOW community, th th there was no Aaron Clary talking about, oh, MGTOW, MGTOW. There was none of these people. Um, these people are all here, and they're kind what they're doing is they're glomming on to some obscure little manifesto that was written, I don't know, um, what, 10 years ago or some shit. And they're saying, see, see, we were here first, but it's bullshit. It's a fucking uh, giant pile of hogwash. Anyway, gentlemen, uh, I'm getting back to what I'm doing. I haven't even been really looking in the Manosphere or paying attention to the Manosphere in, in depth. Um, recently, I've been kind of taking a hands-off approach. Uh, I'm sure this will ruffle some feathers. Frankly, I don't really care. Uh, I, I won't even realize it because I'm not checking the channel. I have so much, uh, so many things that I'm doing. So, gentlemen, uh, that's all that I really have to say for now. Thanks for listening. Take it easy.